this is Mari and today I talk about a boost converter. The boost converters which I've uh, bought recently and uh, it's kind of like an unboxing if you want to call it because I haven't actually removed this thing or tested it yet. I decided to do a video on it by itself. Okay, there is smoke coming out of my halogen lamp. Why? Right, back again and with different lighting now. I'm sorry if it's not as good as that one. My halogen lamp has not a smoke coming out of it. I think it's not a good idea to continue using it. So, and I think this is probably the perfect time to start my next project, which is going to be a light, an LED light panel. So I need to kind of like order the parts for that. I, at least it would be more energy efficient and the, the light would be more equally you know, distributed <laughs> at least. So, yeah. More inspirations coming out of uh, misfortunes, if you want to call them that. Anyway, back to this. In my audio project, I wanted the uh, voltage from the battery to be a little higher because the transistors kind of cannot decide where to switch on or off as they get warmer. So I can hear more of a breaking up as they warm up. So, yeah, it's if I if it was like a couple of voltages higher, then it'd be great. Boost converter. Before I open this out, I want to, for those of you who don't have knowledge of what that is, basically it is a circuit that converts, um, or that, you know, increases the voltage from a lower source to, an, to a higher voltage. For example, you have something like 6 volts, it'll increase it way up to you know, 12 volts, even more, depending on how you build the circuit. Right, so we have our power source here, which is a battery. So you have, let's say for example, you have six volts here. It goes up all the way there. This goes to ground, or zero volts, I should say. Um, this goes here, oh, sorry, actually. Here you would have the inductor. And then here you would have a switch going all the way to there. So you have this full circuit. Now here you have a diode and you then have a capacitor and that is going to here too. And beyond this is the output voltage which is Right, when you close this switch, you complete the circuit here, which is coming from here and going through the inductor, which is causing uh, a magnetic field around here. And it's going through here. Obviously, this is closed. This is going through here all the way back here. So that's the complete circuit. Now, when you open the switch, because of the magnetic field, of the inductor, it causes the inductor to induce some voltage. Now, that is, you know, the voltage is, you know, thrown back at you. So basically, this is a circuit that kind of harvests that voltage, if you want to call it that. So what happens is, when you, un when you take the switch off, the voltage goes here through this diode, cannot obviously go back, and it is stored in this capacitor over here. So you get the voltage here. Now, if you close the switch here and you make the circuit come on again and you open the switch here again and this induces more voltage, you get more voltage you know, being thrown out of the inductor and stored into this capacitor. So basically, eventually the charge here, the, the voltage here builds up. You know, it's like it's storing it. So it's, get, it's, it's building up. Now, you can have the voltages coming out over here, you know, 12 volts, 30 volts, depending on your circuit. And depending on the source as well, it can really boost it up. Um, obviously, instead of the switch, you would have um, something like, you know, a transistor uh, oscillating. You know, so it'd be switching on and off. You can design a circuit to make this switch on and off, so it would keep 
it would keep like com completing the circuit, breaking the circuit, so harvesting more of the voltage. Therefore, you know, I in the past I have actually built this a circuit which takes um, it's actually this circuit here in my audio visualization project that takes uh, 12 volts uh, and gives me 300 volts. Now, obviously, the current is sacrificing. The current is not so much, even though that is enough to give you a freaking whack. <laughs> um, thank goodness I haven't experienced it yet. But that involved over here, I think it was over here. Uh, it's been such so long since I've done it, and I didn't design that one myself. It was a MOSFET over here, and also I think it was a triple five timer, which was um, you know oscillating this. Uh, the MOSFET. So yeah, that's basically in a nutshell what a boost converter is. Right, so let's open this up and see what we have here. So nice, neat-looking thing. So here you have the input. You put the voltage in here, and you get the voltage out, and you can actually adjust the voltage here. Right, so here. You have the inductor, here you have the capacitors and the input, and capacitors and the output. You have the diodes over here, and the voltage adjustment over here. I'm not sure what the other one is for. I don't, I'm not familiar with this one, it's the first time I've used it, so I'm, it's new to me, I'm just going to test it now. Um, why did I buy one instead of designing one? Clearly I know how to do it because I've done it before and the reason why is because I've been spending so much time on this uh, audio amplifier project and I want to move on and start doing other things. You know, it's it's taking up so much of my time. As much as I know how to build one of these things, I'm not exactly sure how to get it to the specifications which I want. And here, this one wasn't so expensive and it was it seems really good. It seems to be like a stable current as well, exactly what I need for an amplifier. So it was ideal for what I want. So now let's get to the testing part of this thing. What I want to do here from this is actually use a battery because and this is this battery I think it's like it's probably gonna be on its way out. It's supposed to be a 9 volt PP3 battery. Actually it's a retro style battery ever ready. Uh, they just do not this company turned into Energizer and they just do not exist anymore. So this is a vintage battery I have here and I'm about to give it to my, my brother for his birthday because he likes collecting this sort of thing. So I'm gonna have to part with this and say goodbye unfortunately. But I thought why not use it for one last time in a video. Right, everything's fine, everything's working. Basically what the issue was was this battery. Now, when I... I think this is so old that it just cannot handle any current load on this. Even though the voltage is high, the current is not so not so much... Uh, not so strong in this because when you... when I tried a newer battery, this is, uh, this is brand new and I got it just uh, the other day. Um, it's a 9 volt again. I directly from other battery and you will see it's 8.87 volts which is you know 9 volt connect the meter to the output of this you will now see that the output of the boost converter is 13 sorry 12.7 volts now that's like three almost four volt increase if I alter this variable resistor here I can increase that to 13, to 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's see how far I can go. Wow. With this battery, this 9 volt battery, the maximum I can get out of this 55 volts. So 55 volts coming out of this 9 volt battery from this boost converter, through this boost converter. Um, the current will not be high at this stage, of course. If you connect something to it, you get an, 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 a massive voltage drop. But obviously, the, if you put it up to, if you put it down to a sensible level, I just needed, you know, I'd say I need about 
3 volts extra, 4 volts extra, this is going to be perfect. It's going to drive what I want at the current, at the right current. Let's apply this to a component here. Right, so this is the fan connected directly to the battery. Now I will take this off the battery, I will connect, I'll parallel the fan and the uh, multimeter and the output of the boost converter here. So I will Now if I can increase this if I can keep increasing so you can hear the fan speeding up. And that's 18 volts going through that fan. Okay, I don't want to take it too much because I don't want to blow this fan. <laughs> Now this is taking it to as low as it can go, which is 11.3 volts. And of course the lowest it will go will be connecting it directly to the battery. Woo! Okay, don't want to short anything here. Okay, so there we have it. The boost converter. It's made life a little easier, I think, <laughs> for me. Um, Alright, thank you so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up to the video if you liked uh, what you saw. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And also, please share your thoughts and leave a comment. Uh, I will be doing much more on my channels shortly, so please stick around if you want to see. Alright, so I go now and I add the boost converter to my audio amplifier project. Adios!